do not expect the posh and polish of the bigger wineries. Look how it's falling off the bone. They have a whole museum room here inside of the winery with lots of exhibits during the Soviet times. <sighs> Salutare, my name is Elena and this is Elena the Expat, a vlog in which I talk about the expat lifestyle and slow travel. I was born and raised in Moldova and I want to give you a local perspective on what's hot and what's not. So in today's episode we are exploring yet another winery, this time in the southern capital of Moldova, Comrat. Just arrived at Vinor de Comrat and <laughs> the weather is crazy, the wind is so strong. We are actually waiting right now to see if they can do another tour for us because the one that was at noon, we definitely missed it. And hopefully we can get a tour with the local guide. So we're checking on that right now. Vinor de Comrat is a very old winery, like this equipment here. So it was founded during the Russian Empire here in Bessarabia in the 19th century. At the beginning it was planned as a production of vodka. Bessarabia is the soup of the Imperial Russia. We thought that they could give them the thanks to the Bulgarians. And they decided to give them but in time people here discovered they are much more fond of wines and the wine production started. However, the modern history of the winery starts only with the 1950s after they had new plantations of uh, grapes and they uh, had the opportunity to majorly improve their wines. Not yet. Mm, it smells like wine here, an amazing smell. Interestingly, they have old equipment that was used during the Soviet time here in a museum, so we also had a look at it. The lady told us everything about the wine, it was super interesting. And they have a huge production facility here, so I can imagine that they produce lots and lots of wine. Fermentarea vinului roșu. Toate aceste zone sunt unite cu acest fuișor și orice întrebare care trebuie de rezolvat, ori orice, orice degustare care trebuie de făcute, specialiștii se îngrămădesc aici repejor. Este cele mai mari butoaie din Moldova după cantitatea de vin care se poate turna în ele. Am mirosit că am drept să schidă loc un butoi. Un butoi. Și mirosit cum miroase mai departe vinul la și din ele permanent se iau și se etichetează și se trimit în magazin. Este etichetele contemporane a noastre care le avem în vânzare și care e cu roșu, asta e vinul care este format în sticla asta, anume aici. Câte hectare sunt toate indicate? These are the historic cellars. Careful, one step. Every self-respecting winery in Moldova has them, and everybody tells you that they have the oldest bottle of wine in the whole Moldova. This is the year I was born in, and they have four bottles of wines from the same time. If during the store you're wondering whether uh, people here in Comrade are trapped in the past, I think yes is the answer. Actually, they have a whole museum room here inside of the winery with lots of exhibits during the Soviet times. These are the flags of the different republics that were part of USSR. And here is Moldova. People still believe that the past was better than what it is now, uh, but it it is a, such an interesting perspective on that time. And you know, if you're coming from outside, it will be definitely interesting to look at. But for me, it feels um, a bit strange, to be honest. 
this is their restaurant. The outside terrace looks amazing. It is very green and it's well designed. You can rest here on a hot summer day. And uh, you know, as it gets chilly like today, I think you can still uh, sit here and look at the amazing views. Right from the restaurant, you can look at the grape plantations. Fetaska Nyagar here is a typical Moldovan grape variety. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, so sweet. And here at the beginning of every um, line of grapes is a bush of roses. This is an old method of um, uh, seeing if there are any pests, there is pest infestation. So if the roses wilt, this is a good sign for people who take care of the grapes that something is wrong and they should treat the grapes. <laughs> Din Chișinău vin companii întregi care au câte 18-24 de iubitori de fetească de-a noastră. Cu asta ne mândrim și astăzi la degustație o să fie vin de flori de salcâm, nuanțe de mieri de albini, flori uscate de câmp. Rozeu este din 60% de Cabernet Sauvignon și 40% de Merlot. Mm, an excellent rosé uh, with this subtle aroma of quince. Mm, really good wines. This is a traditional gagao soup called Shurpa, made of lamb. Now lamb is a very specific type of meat in terms of the smell. That's why in Moldova they don't really cook it. Mm. So flavorful. Mm. And I feel pieces of garlic, raw garlic, quite unusual. Mm. Also, let me have a piece of this meat. Look how it's falling off the bone. The meat is so delicious. It basically melts in your mouth. I don't know how they prepare it and which spices they put, but it's, you know, just so delicate and then greasy, but in a good way and spicy and salty. Yeah, yeah. Mm, really good. And the potatoes and all the other vegetables, grilled vegetables, are just the best. A, a really good meal. Two portions of soups, one big platter with meat and vegetables, and some uh, bread. Also, for the tour and the wine tasting, we owe 250 lei each. So, guys, this is it. My final thoughts about the winery. So I definitely think it's very, uh, a very colorful experience because you are in Gagauzia and Gagauzia has its own color and flavor and its own people who have their own traditions. I found the wine to be very good and the technology that they are using to be quite modern. So they have a lot of local typical type of wines, which makes it a very interesting experience. But at the same time, their touristic complex is somewhat boring to an extent and maybe not so modern so if you think about the restaurant it's an underground restaurant if you're a fan of those things that's great if you're not it feels a little bit outdated and old i do recommend this experience i think it's a great one but do not expect the posh and polish of the bigger wineries in the center of moldova